What gives you hope? Hmm. Oof. A few things flooded in in that moment. The younger generations give me hope. And that sounds a little, I feel like people can have said that before. And I'm not sure if all generations have felt that at some point. But yeah, the work that I'm doing in the world, that other people are doing in the world, seeing the ways in which younger generations are approaching the same topics and so fearlessly moving through space like that gives me hope. And I think on the other side of things, um, history, like there's a way that is the way I learn about global movements and the ways in which people have fought back and, you know, resisted and changed their experience. That gives me hope as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah thank I you. love it. What gives you hope? Oh my gosh, what gives me hope? Um, what gives me hope is that I have seen and experienced transformation and change. And so I know that that's out there and available for other people. Um, and yeah, I just, I am hopeful that I can continue on this path, uncovering layer by layer, um, my own being and truly stepping into the highest version of myself and becoming the woman that who I'm truly meant to be. Mm -hmm. And, and I am very hopeful that as I continue down this path and I work on myself and I evolve and I spend time in that peace and stillness and work on my spirituality that that I will step more and more into the best version of me. And then to be able to have impact mm -hmm. from a good place, <laughs> from a whole, a whole place yes. um, on other people. Mm -mm -mm. That's a beautiful thing. What gives you hope? Such a beautiful question. Um, <laughs> I think the idea of as above, so below, like that concept is what gives me hope. Um, I, I heard it, I heard it in the, within the framework of um, like our bodies and how if we cut ourselves, we don't have to do anything. Our body will heal itself. It'll just heal. Like we, we don't have to do anything. Once it cuts, we just leave it alone. It will heal it on its own. And I think sometimes we get caught up in how many problems there are in this world and all, you know, climate change and racism and all these different, you know, so many and you know, injustices and harms and traumas and wars and all these things happening. Um, and I think sometimes we think like, here we are over here and here's the world and the planet and all these bad, like we are doing all these bad things to the planet. But actually, of course, there's no separation. There's no division. We are the planet, we are nature, and nature heals itself. So we see in our bodies how we heal ourselves in the same way nature is healing itself. So I have such complete confidence that even though there's things happening in the world that seem like, how are we gonna make it out of this? I'm like, it is, it is natural to heal ourselves. And so mm -hmm. I have such complete confidence that we are gonna heal ourselves. And in every moment that we work on our individual healing, we are doing that healing for the entire planet and it's inevitable. So just the inevitability of that peace, of that calm, of this, you know, of heaven on earth. Like, I just know it's coming. So I'm like, we're gonna get there. You know, I'm gonna do my part. You're gonna do your part. We're gonna get there. It's literally inevitable. So that gives me. I love that. <laughs> I feel more hopeful. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, look at look at what happens. You it heals. Okay. Wow. Wow. You're amazing. I just